Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Joe Louis Arena for tonight's 2K Sports Network broadcast of NHL Hockey. We're live from Detroit. Welcome to NHL Hockey here on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Bob Cole, and with me is Harry Neal. The season is winding down, but these two teams are ready to go. Tried and true, the Detroit Red Wings tradition. All about winning Stanley Cups, and I think they've got the nicest uniform in the league. The Red Wings are a team that other teams look to to see how they get it done. Well, when you do look, what you see is they get it done from the defensive end first. Bob, when you look at this team's roster, they are young, but they've already learned the big lesson in the National Hockey League. You win on D, and this is a strong defensive team, especially when you consider their age. There's nothing like winning and then making sure your players know why you are successful. And that's one job for the coach. Pin that big D on the bulletin board before every game. They're lining up for the faceoff to start the game. Let's raise the roof! Make some noise! The Blackhawks get the opening faceoff. Now Chicago into the zone. Shot. The shot gets deflected off the post. Oh, heavy metal right there. Red metal. Nailed the post on that shot. Oh, and a chance for Detroit now. The puck is in the far corner. O'Coin dishes the puck center ice. Oh, and a chance for Chicago now. Blocker save by Osgood. He passes to the defenseman. They have it at center ice. Shanahan up ice with it. Two on two. From Shanahan to Holmstrom. He centers it and he stops it with the right pad. Spot check over to Daze. Here they come, odd man rush, three on two. That shot was stopped by the, he scores! It is in the net, you can count on it, and they have taken a quick one nothing lead to make a clear opening statement. A pretty goal in front. This one's worth a second look. He took the puck right in the middle of the fire there, Harry, and still managed to put it in the net. You cannot maintain that position in the slot for very long. He grabbed an opportunity and made the most of it there. Face-off coming up. Ready to get the action started. He carries it over the blue line. Number 15, Kulo Rutu. 11th goal, 41st. Bell is in the corner. He decides to center the puck. Now at the point. Fisher holds him along the board. The Blackhawks are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a real good feeling. In the slot. LaPointe, center ice, and it's a two-on-two. Two. Osgood makes the save. His team down a goal right now. They can't give up another one. And here come the Red Wings. The Red Wings change shifts. Fresh skaters coming out there. Shoots. Happy Bullen saves it. His team's got a one-goal advantage right now. It goes over to the right wing. LaPointe has the puck through the zone. It's shot. The defense comes up big to block the shot attempt. This crowd has been cheering all night, and they have to do it even more now. They're down by two. Harry, pretty amazing they're doing this in this situation. To the point. Chalios along the boards. Gets it over to the left wing. Rutu getting hooked a little bit here, and the refs are watching. The goal stick to the rescue knocks that away. Lidstrom has it at center ice. Oh, and there they go, the wings on the move. Oh, the puck hits the post. This is still a one-goal game because that puck went off the outside of the goal post. The Red Wings trail by one here in the first period of play tonight. Harry, what's going on out there on the ice right now for this team? Down by a goal, I'd point the face-offs as a good indication of why. They are just not winning the draws to this point, and it shows up on the scoreboard. Here's the rush, two on two. Osgood disrupts the offense. Beautiful poke check. Puck back to the point. Holmstrom at center.
the corner, Holmstrom, that shot off the left pad. He feeds it up the left side. Holds the puck at center. Oh, and there they go, the Blackhawks are moving up. And oh, the puck hits a post. Sent to the left wing. Up through the zone. Fired! Heavy Bullen with a stick save. Another shot in, down low. Iserman controls it. He's controlling the puck at center ice. He centers it. The shot is gloved down. And a save by Osgood. The Blackhawks switch up their offensive line. He passes it up the center. The shot, Javi Bullen makes a huge glove save on that blistering slap shot. And it's handled by Iserman. Back to the point. Shanahan has got the puck. He scores! And they tie the game up here at the end of the first. He really caught the goaltender out of position on this wraparound, Bob. Yeah, just a little too much room on that left side. He really stung him with that quality poke. And we've got the face-off. Skaters in position. The Red Wings have tied up the game here with that Red goal. It looks like we've got another dandy shaping up tonight. Tip, it's a goal. He scores. It deflected off a player's stick. Terrific goal here, Bob. The goalie tried to save it with his skate, but it bounced off his blade into the net. Taking a closer look at this, the goalie skates were just at the wrong angle. And as a goalie, you have to be aware of all parts of your body and pads because a bad angle of any part of you can result in something bad like a rebound or even worse, a goal. And sometimes you just don't have time to adjust. Tough goal to give up there. Another face-off about to commence here shortly. The Red Wings have the one goal lead now Red here Red in the first goal. period of hockey. They've got a chance now to expand that lead. Number they 13. are right where they Adam wanted to be. A minute 31 to go. From Osgood, to Lidstrom, he brings it up. Here come the Red Wings with a chance. It's shot, and Heavy Bullen with that pad save. Vandermeer clears it out. Number 18, Kirk Murphy. And Detroit has the puck. Defensive zone. He feeds it up the right side. Of the first period. And now Detroit with it across the blue line. And that signals the end of the first period with the score 2-1. to one. And playing now for you are some highlights from that first period. Some nice highlights here. The Red Wings have done a great job in the latter part of this period to come back with this one goal lead, Harry. What in heaven's name have they done to turn it around so quickly? So far, this has not been a heavy-handed performance from either team. It really seems like they're trying to figure out the game plan as the game moves along. I know that we're going to see someone step up and make a big play, maybe defensively or in the net. That will inspire an offensive surge to break it open. But we'll just have to enjoy this game and see what happens. The Blackhawks can't afford to let another goal in here as they get set for the second period. During the break, Coach, I'm sure, gave them some needed encouragement to tie this one up. The second period is just about to begin as the teams meet at center ice. The face-off taken by Detroit. He should save is made. He was able to stop it after a very tough shot there. Tipped off the player in front. Arneson takes the puck through the zone. He centers it. He scores! 
And now, here early in the second, we've got a tie game. Great assist on that play, Bob. Let's just watch the pass. That's an awesome assist he makes, and they expect that kind of play from him. He's the number two man for assists on his team, consistently making those kinds of plays. And we are just about ready to resume play here. The Blackhawks are really excited to have this game tied up. That was a very big goal here in the second period. They've come back now, and that may change momentum. Up the left side, Calder skating with it at center. Oh, and here come the Blackhawks. He makes a centering pass. Here come the Red Wings with a chance. He passes it to the left wing. He scores! And they jump out here in the second period early with the go-ahead goal. He may be only number five on his team in assists, but that outlet pass was as good as I've seen, right on the tape. Excellent passing there, right where he wanted it, Harry. You've got to be happy when you're receiving passes like that. It makes the shooter's job a lot easier. Great setup, beautiful finish. They're ready for the faceoff. And here come the Blackhawks. Wings the Wings goals. have moved out in front here in the second Four period. Five. Big goal. That one gives them the lead. Lang is out at center ice. 34th Shot. Big saves at big times. They are already down by one goal, and we're in the second period. This game starts to slip away if he doesn't make that stop. And a great place to watch the game. Obviously, these new skyboxes in the new arenas are spectacular. No room service, I heard. Of the second period. The face-off will be left to the net. Important reminder, anyone caught throwing debris or other objects onto the ice surface will be immediately ejected. Arneson with the puck Please at center ice. It's passed to the point. The Thank you. Fired. It's tipped towards the net, but he makes that stop. Fisher passes to the defenseman. Now at center ice. Puck over to the right wing. The puck gets set up the right side. Lang with the puck in the corner. Now Chicago's got it in the neutral zone. There it is, Chicago on the move. Shoot, he scores! That ties it up in the second. Look at this goal on the replay, Bob. You can see the goalie getting into the butterfly position. That's been known to stop a lot of shots, but not on this attack, Harry. That was just a total collapse on the part of the defense. And they're ready now for the faceoff. The Blackhawks Chicago showing goal. they can and get back right goal. into it. Boy, Number that was 22. a big goal. Second Martin period, that was a very Seven big goal. You do not want to be season. down Time when the second goal. period is over. Six, now they've got a chance the to take period. the lead. He's got it along the board. And Heavy Bullen stops it going low left side. Nothing doing there. Isaac, he scores! Second period goal. That one will put him in the lead. That shot looked like it came from behind the plane of the goal line. I can't believe it, Bob. What an amazing shot. Only the best shooters can pull off a play like that, Harry. What an eye, and what a feel for pinpointing a target. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. Red Wings goal! Now Chicago into the zone. Full marks for this stop. A blocker save off a blazing slap shot. There it is. Detroit on the move. He rips it. He hits a player and then up off the glass. Well, the effort by the guys on the ice has resulted in a one-goal lead here tonight. The effort by the fans hoping it will be up to two. Yeah, and the fans don't want to let themselves start tasting this win yet. They're chanting for another goal. He carries it over the blue line. And... Scores! They score on the odd man break. 
The defense could not stop that attack. Here's brilliance on offense, Bob. They had the attack on full force and just drilled the shot five hole. He just gave up a little bit of daylight on the five hole in the crouch. Wish as he had been in the butterfly. But you never know if the shot's coming high or low. And the face-offs coming up. The Red Wings have got a nice cushion here of two goals Red about halfway Wings through goal! the second period, Harry. And they were leading to end the first period. Looks like they have continued where they left off after the first intermission. What's their recipe here tonight in making this game turn out well for them? They have not been winning face-offs at the rate they'd like to be out there. But it hasn't affected their game much. They're up by two, and they don't seem to have noticed that their success on the draw has not been as good as usual. And he successfully covers that puck. Osgood has helped his team into the lead here at home. And Harry, these fans sure know how to show their appreciation. They're just laying on the love now. There it is, Chicago on the move. Taken into the zone by Chicago. The corner. Osgood makes the save and he lets that one go by. This game is a one goal game. He does not want that to happen. Two on two, here we go. The centering pass is made. And the puck is... He scores! And that goal right there gives them a three-goal advantage. That's where you want to be in the second period. And, of course, at the end of the game. Bob, a backhander going five-hole. He just froze the goalie with that. It was a beautiful shot, Harry, and the control he showed matched with the velocity to hit such a small target. And he was looking to hit that target, too. That's highlight material. The official's got the puck in hand, and he's ready to start things up again. The wings showing they are still in control here tonight. Well, that last goal puts them up by three, and the puck is now on their side, too, here in the second. The puck now to the right wing. The puck went off the crossbar. He decides to center the puck. Happy Boone stops it. He blocked out the left side there. Over the blue line. Number 23. And he scores! We have to see that pass to set up the goal again. Oh yeah, it looks like he had that play diagrammed for him in practice with that kind of setup. Never underestimate the importance of an outlet pass to get things going, Bob. That's right, Harry, and that's exactly what happened here. He's third on the team in assists and seems intent on moving up. Here comes the face-off to start the action again. The Blackhawks got what they needed there, Chicago and did they goal. ever need it? They've got to make Number up on time now, though. Aaron but that goal Dossier. brings them back to within two, and we're only in the second of season. It's obvious that this star did not come here to be anonymous and invisible. He's waving. And he's getting a lot of recognition from the fans. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. The Wings get the faceoff up by two in their home. Over to the left wing. Shoots that shot off the left pad. Happy Bullen will hold on for the faceoff. Smart play there. Tonight's NHL game is being presented in 2K Sports Game Sound. Abby Bullen in net, the face off to his right. And now the Red Wings grab it, taken at the point by Woolley. Woolley is offside on the play. Abby Bullen is posting a save percentage this season, a .920. They're in position to start up the action. Detroit off the faceoff. And now the Blackhawks with it in their own zone. Through the zone. Shoots. 
And Detroit gets it back in their own zone. Sent to the left wing. You have to love the guys that are willing to do anything to keep a lead. They're up by two, and because of this shot block, they're still up by a pair. A minute 40 to go. Pass the blue line. It's passed to the point. He shoots. Oh, and Osgood stops that shot, heading for the low right side. Now Detroit into the zone. The puck is... He scores! He's got three tonight, folks. And the fans here at home are letting him know that they are keeping track of those goals tonight. And next week, you'll be able to buy these hats at half price at the local sports stores. Great tradition in the National Hockey League, and that's exactly what happens. Trick of the hats on the ice. They're ready in that big circle. 37 on the clock. The Wings have demonstrated that they have decided they came to win here tonight. Up by three now to that last goal, and we're in the second period with a comeback from the opposition looking very unlikely. The buzzer sounds signaling the end of the second period. We've got a score, seven to four. And it's highlight reel time here on the 2K Sports Network, presenting some finer plays we've been witness to so far tonight. The Blackhawks are just getting dominated so far here tonight, Harry. Why are we seeing, do you think, such a blowout? What do you think is the main contributing factor in this poor performance? You try to analyze the comparisons here stat-wise. You don't see much. This is an even game on all accounts, and I really feel it's a good matchup. This is the kind of game where you need to identify a few opportunities and to take advantage and make the most of each one. Because in a game like tonight, that's what's going to make the difference. The Blackhawks have a look of frustration now as they take to the ice after the second intermission. That frustration needs to turn into rock-solid defense and some major offensive output to get a couple goals right now. And we're just about ready to start the third period of play here tonight. And the draw is won by Chicago. To Daze from Spacek. Taken into the zone by Detroit. There it is, Detroit on the move. Samuelson controlling the puck in the corner. And Chicago gets it back in their own zone. From Samuelson in the corner. He's pressured and he passes it out of the corner. In the corner. Fired. Happy Bullen with a beautiful save from Happy Bullen to O'Coin. Daze through the zone with the puck. Osgood with a pad save controls it in deep. To the net. Here's the faceoff coming up. The Blackhawks get the goal that brings them to within two here in the third period. Still trailing. You always hope to carry momentum like this from a goal right back to your defense and get your offense another scoring chance to really pull in close on the scoreboard. But it's a lot easier said than done. O'Coin with the pass up the center. Arneson over to LaPointe. He feeds the puck to the left wing. Over to the point. Arneson in the corner to Bell. He makes a centering pass. Iserman with it, and here's a three-on-two opportunity. And it's stopped, trying to go high with that one. No luck from Spacek. Bell with it at center. It's shot. Bob, it looks like he got all of that slap shot. Still a right pad save. An underrated save by the goaltender. The Wings make the D-line change. Cullimore knocks the puck to the center. And here come the Red Wings. Shoots. And it's deflected off the right pad. It goes to the defenseman. 
Samuelson skating along the boards. It hits a player and then up off the glass. The puck is hit up the left side. What a save. He made that stop after it was tipped in front. Happy Bullen with a blocker save. A point in the neutral zone. The corner. The Blackhawks have been flat all game long. They gave up the lead early and still have a sizable deficit to overcome if they want to win this one. Stranger things have happened, though, Harry. Here's a game where the advantage is really in the intangibles. You can't really look at the numbers in this game and say it's a one-sided battle from either team's perspective. This is one of those games where you watch and wait and see who comes up with the big play or who can capitalize on the other team's mistakes. Zetterberg hits the puck into the corner. Samuelson holds the puck. That's a goal. He gets the wraparound shot to go in. As we'll see on this replay, he poked the puck in on the left side. You can see in the replay that the goalie was a bit slow to cover that left side. And the wraparound gets the job done here. We'll get back to the action now as the official gets set to drop the puck. The Red Wings have really given themselves some breathing Red room with that goal! last goal. Up three goals, and they've just about Number put this 20. game out of reach for any comeback. Robert Terrific Way! hockey they play here tonight. Oh, and a chance for Detroit now. Goal. Shot and a stop by the season. right pad. A coin hits the puck out center. Rutu holding the puck at center ice. They've got a three on two chance here. He centers the puck. He makes the blocker save. Out front. To the point. Rutu holding that puck in the corner. Rutu gets pinned against the boards. It's sent to the right wing. Now Detroit into the zone. Happy Bullen stops that one going low, left side. Spacek sends the puck up center ice. Does he? Up ice, it's a three on two. Fired. Knocks that shot away with a goal stick. Again, it's shot. At center ice. Shanahan with it, and here's a two-on-two -two opportunity. They block the shot. Good defense. He fires it back. Happy Bullen, knowing that this shot was going to go low, he had everything going his way. The paddle was down, but ultimately, he had to make the save with his pad. A nice decision and a nice stop. We're down to a minute 53. The Red Wings will remember this game for a while. So will the other goaltender, unfortunately. It might not have all the flair and show that a one-timer has, but the wraparound goal gets the job done just as well. And this team is proving it here tonight. Osgood positions himself on the left side of the net, waiting for the faceoff. And the Red Wings pick it up. It goes over to the right wing. And he's got it in the neutral zone. A minute 12 remaining. Over in the corner, over to Iserman. Shanahan from Iserman. Oh, and a chance for Chicago now to Rutu from Daze. Along the boards with the puck. And now the wings with it in their own zone. And he takes it through the zone. That'll do it. The game has ended, and the score, 8 to 5. The third star of the game. Number 19, Steve Eicherman. The second star of the game, number 44, Mark Muller. And the first star of the game, number 14, Brendan Shanahan. And my favorite part of the broadcast, well, at least the part without your play-by-play, -play, Bob, is the highlight reel, some of the great plays from tonight's game. The Red Wings put the recipe together here tonight, taking the win easily. What were some of the key points, Harry, and how they brought their game together so well? Well, I think, Bob, in this case, it really came down to who wanted to win the most. Who went after the loose pucks? Who made the extra defensive effort? And you can credit these guys with deserving the win. They came out and won the game tonight with a superlative effort.
And that's going to do it. NHL action on the 2K Sports Network. For Harry Neal, I'm Bob Cole. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll catch us next time around on the NHL.